Hello everyone, my name is Lothorn and welcome back to Minecraft Dragons and Dungeons. Still at the mercies of the witch woman, but I have a plan on defeating her. Some may say, oh, trying to take on a boss too early, are you? And what I say to them is, just watch me. Her follow AI is quite persistent. But how persistent? Come on then. Come and get me. There we go. Now we're at my mercy. How about you? I think witches are immune to lightning bolts. Well, that wasn't the purpose of actually fighting her down there. For now, we have the boss in the pit. Which is brilliant for me. Now I can actually defeat her, possibly. Uh, let's see. What do I have left over? I've got some iron. Bow, not gonna use that. Okay. Iron, it is then. Now I didn't make that hole exactly right, so I'm gonna have to be careful with how I do this. I believe one of these sides she can sort of get cover or did I fill it in? Was I clever enough to fill it in before dying? I think it would have been that side, so yes I was. So because of her highlighting, I can then enter from right about here. Alright. There we go. So. Should have her precisely where I want her to be. Okay. Um, jolly good. This is fine. This is working out. As expected. There we go. Now then. If my angles here are correct, she won't actually be able to get me. And so I just need to rely on the axe out damaging her. And I should be able to beat this boss in epic combat fashion. You've never seen such skill before in your life, I believe, in combat. This, this is how you do Dungeons and Dragons, or Dragons and Dungeons, if we want to go by the title. But this is Dragons and Dungeons based off Dungeons and Dragons. So you don't fight enemies in a way that makes sense. You're not the epic hero. You're a low-down rat of adventure, taking every little advantage you can get. And that's what I fully intend to do here. And I have on my side reincarnation where I believe she does not all she has is regenerative potions ha and that is what I call levels and silver ingot and chainmail horse burning. well I lost a lot of gear to her we'll admit that but when it comes to the levels I got quite a few so let's get my health up to 10 hit points and increase my strength one more time. And I have no idea what these levels are based off. This player level is how many skill points you've earned um, and how close you are to another. This attribute is increased every time you gain XP. However, the higher level you are, the more XP it takes you to get to the next one. I see. Yes, so we get 10 health and we're regening actually fairly good now. Which is bloody excellent. And we should be dealing some bonus damage now. Alright. We took down the witch. And that is now chainmail horse armor. Where I believe I might have full proper horse armor. But we can proceed back into the dungeon. And hopefully not get whacked by bosses this time. I got plenty of berries for food. Although I think a lot of food was destroyed down there. And all my guidebooks are gone. I should put those into chests to be perfectly honest. I shouldn't have been holding on to a lot of this gear, actually. That's in my inventory. I'll go down poorly. Right. Well, we can smelt this iron, go collect some more, grab some more coal. 
and make a full set. So down and off we go. To the coal pit, and I should breed some of the cows, see how the farms are coming along, get all the little business done with, and then we can get on to the adventuring business. But we beat our first boss, which I say is a pretty good achievement so far. I mean, what is that? Three episodes in and one boss already defeated. That, I think, is pretty good. Of course, it's not a proper boss, it's just a random world boss, but still. She could throw fireballs that would drop a lightning on her heads. She had a ton of health, she's a witch, she could give herself regen. That's a scary combination. And that was some weird noises I was hearing over there. Huh. Well, back to the cabin. I do miss my squid token, though. That's probably one of the biggest losses, is that squid token. Alright. And we have to have them. If we lose them, then we don't get to turn in for the quest. Right. Uh, coal is upstairs. With the smelting. I really shouldn't have my smeltery upstairs. That is just kind of a strange spot and total for a smeltery. Okay. So, you can go under there, you can go under there, you can go under there. Additional iron I'll take. I think an axe is a good weapon. We will get a shield next. Because a sword and board is a good way to adventure, I say. There's a shield. And not quite enough for a chest piece just yet. Not to give it a moment. There we go. That will be a chest piece. And then shoes and a hat with the remaining might just work out. I think. Yeah, because it's four for shoes and five for a hat. And we've got two left over. Not quite to make a tool, but the stone will be enough to make a pickaxe in case I run out. And then the two left over and nine there. Okay, right, so a hat. I don't really need the shoes. Let's have enough for two spare picks in there, shall we? And two boards of wood. I don't need those slabs on me. And food. Gather up that food and cow breeding. Yes. And replanting trees. There we go. Okay, now I can go dungeon delving very soon here. Just let's get this sorted out in the field. Nice little field. More seed supply as well. Bloody bird. Shoo! Alright, cows. Um, that'll be two additional cows. Excellent. Okay, so cows will be coming along, which is good. Get that shield up and ready. Axe up and ready. Sleep up and ready. And away on adventure up and ready. Okay. Boom. Bed? No, nope, not yet. Is it not night? I guess not. I have to wait a few moments still. A few moments longer and then the night shall come. And then we will sleep. Alright, here we are. Sleep time. Awake time. And off we go time. What else does constitution do for you? Knock back the resistance. Diminishing. 1%. Uh, so, I have, you know what, range, crit chance, and evasion is diminishing, health regen, amplification, lifesteal, lifesteal, and range crits, dexterity, blocking movement speed, melee damage, attack speed, range, and strength is melee damage, armor. Wow, that's actually really good. Thought I saw a boss. Okay, hopefully they don't spawn with a huge amount of regularity. That would make dungeon delving really difficult. Or once they spawn, once they don't spawn back into the area. All right, well, she was this way. Torches, I guess, are actually kind of an important part of dungeon delving. And I do appear to be slightly lacking in those. I've got some sticks though to make more torches with. If I could find some coal. Hmm. Could also go deeper. Damn it. And I think. Well, there's a tree down here. 
cool. Back to the library. And enemies. Which is great. No actual torches, though. Hmm. No signs of obvious coal. Did I take absolutely everything from this place? Coal in the furnace. Always check your furnaces. Never know what treasures you might find. The zombie pathing is anything to go by from the witch's pathing. You might still be following. Appears not, though. Alright. Well then. I guess we can go deeper. Torch on the left so the right lights the way back. Right way is the right way. Okay. Skeleton spawner. He's got a pair of boots. If we take cover in the corridor, they'll strafe towards me. Hello. Oh. Freaking I got improved AI mod which really advances their movements. Now, I know they already improved skeletons, but this one is just downright annoying. Man, that bow hurt. That looks... Is that a trap chest? No. But we got some treasure chests. Light up a few of these corridors, although they do get a little messy. Okay. Leather horse armor and gunpowder. Probably can use some of these things. Not the greatest treasure, though. White purple shield. Huh, cool. And cobwebs, bowls, fermented iron nuggets, brown mushrooms. If I get enough, I can get. Excuse me, you what, mate? I thought I had this locked off. Ow, ooh, your boat really hurts, actually. Just give me a second to properly region here. I don't think you have a way to get to me. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be farming spawners. So we'll just take them out for a count and get what treasure we can out of them. I saw more treasure in here. Oh my! Stone mask. Maybe I should put it on. Manuscripts, poison baboos. Um, huh. You know, I'm actually really tempted to put on the skull mask. Um, I will, I'll leave it to people to decide what to do with the stone mask. Because, <laughs> I mean, that might screw up my whole monk journey. I think once you put the mask on, there's no going back. Okay. Well, someone's being breathy down here. It might just make it a trophy. You know, it's the cursed item. Never certain you want to wear it yourself. <sighs> Knowing... People who watch these videos will probably say put on the mask, and I'm thinking right now, I really don't want to, actually. So maybe I won't leave it to them to decide. Okay. As long as there's one skeleton, it's a relatively straightforward fight. What sort of pants do they have? Protection, too, and died. Ooh, carrot. Iron. Laudanum. Wow, my inventory is already full of gubbins. Arrows. Okay. I don't need all this chainmail horse armor. More poison spikes. Another spirit ore. More manuscript. Iron ingots. Gold and bones. Lots and lots of bones and gold and blank rooms and steel. Apparently I have steel in my pocket. Okay. And this should give us some spirit orbs as well. Very good. That can probably, yeah, level up nice. Okay. Um, Constitution is pretty good. I might take intelligence just for that lifesteal. Because that seems pretty nifty. As long as it's with a melee weapon? Is that what it is? Lifesteal. Melee attacks. Ah, great. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of lifesteal doesn't sound too bad. Definitely a way to assist my dungeoneering. Okay. Give you that little bit of extra sustain. A lead. Leads be good. Uh, leads are very good. Okay. Now, every legend... Every level deeper... 
I happen to know, is better treasure but tougher enemies. It's got a bloody shield. How cheeky is that? Aha! See, I knew I wouldn't need to shoes because I'd find my own. All right. Let's take this one out then next. Damn, lost the spirit doors. I want dodging arrows coming my way. The skeletons are fighting. Looks a little bit dangerous down here. But they will take care of themselves nicely for me. And we can illuminate. Ooh, danger room. Take out both of those. Pronto. Get a lot of spirit orbs out of that. Ooh, music disc and the other type of mushroom, which is ideal. Just keep an eye out for any monsters sneaking up on me. Cooked food. Hmm. Yes, inventory is already a mess. Music disc over mushrooms, and when we adventure again, we can resupply. Okay. Iron, more torches, more food. I think this has been a pretty good dungeon hall. We've gotten some good levels here. In fact, I have another level. Could take more life stealing for that health regen and the ranged crits. I don't. Uh, the passive regen, I think, is just too good to pass up, though. Should get more max HP as well. I think we're doing pretty fine right now. Get some food and get out of here. This is not the way back. The right way is the way back. Right. So, that delves further down. Delves into lit areas. And, aha! Well, I am at it. I might as well take out this boner. Also, check out this room. Okay. Not much happening there rabbit skin and get that as well and ooh fancy ender pearl I like ender pearls and potion of harming placement shovel ender pearl ooh. hello just be careful with you for a second there okay and more spider eyes right ender pearl what do I trade to get you out these runes are useless. And who am I? Spider spawner. And the zombie spawner. Right. Well, we'll take care of these two. Then I'll get going. Ah, not a very good chest. Yeah, the treasure definitely gets better the deeper you go. As the way with dungeons. But it also gets more dangerous. But that is a very good haul. Delve deep into a dungeon and beat a boss. I am feeling like a boss. And my levels are coming fast and they keep on hitting. Honestly, just gonna get that constitution up for the additional HP. 11 hit points. I think the actual hit points you should have in Minecraft is 12? I mean 20? I think. So, we're nowhere near that level yet. Uh, I think I stayed within the chunk, so I might be able to breed the cows before I go to bed. Which would be nice. Possibly not, though. Well, we'll see. Let's see if I can make the cows make more cows. Although, there's a surprisingly large amount of food in the dungeon. Well, I can make the cows make more cows. S sort of. I can make a few of them. Like, it's just coming around to the timer. That's one more cow. Good. I don't have the room for the seeds, though, in my inventory. So let's drop this loot off. Because I got loot to organize and figure out what things do. And oh my god, they get creepy at night, don't they, raccoons? Look at those shiny little eyes, the little thieves. Alright. Yeah. Lots of barrels to work with. Lots and lots of barrels. Okay. Inventory organized. Stone mask. We'll put that in there. That heart is important to hang on to. Ancient dart bowl. Can make some soup. A lot of them. 
might as well drink it. Uh, protection pants, arrows, I don't have a bow, spider eye, no, no, no. Can smelt that, iron, manuscripts are good. Purple shield, don't have a use for that just yet. Got some spare food backed up in here, which is nice. The cobwebs can go. Wheat is for breeding. Okay. Well. Let's get this iron going. Yeah. Yeah, that one there. Let's see what this laudanum does. Oh my. Well then. That was an interesting experience. Very medical. Very, very medical. Okay. Now what can these be used for? Do I just eat them? Hmm. Are other recipes? Okay, recipes then. No recipes. And no uses. What mod are you from? At... Well, let's look up Spirit Orb first. Spirit Orb is from... Paraglider. What? Huh. At para... Para... Why is the mod so complicated when it's just giving you a paraglider? Huh. Pretty simple to make, actually. I could probably make one. Nice. What the... Why does the paraglider mod add so much Legend of Zelda stuff? That is very strange. Very, very strange indeed. Oh my. Well then. I will have to get the leather from down here, I guess, to make the paraglider. Let's see. I can get treasure. I, I thought I had a bunch of leather. Maybe I didn't take it with me. Well, we have a leather farm, so we'll get the paraglider eventually. But as for now, I bid you good night. So thank you very much for watching. I feel pretty good about being that witch. We beat a boss, being the first boss, very good. And yes, we'll catch you on the next video. So until then. Yeah.